They welcome in Connor Bedard, one of the main attractions in the National Hockey League. They're here to see this man, the 18-year-old phenom. Points in all three NHL games, taking the league by storm. Nick Andrade, Sportsnet producer here, and we are at Scotiabank Arena to give you the Connor Bedard experience. And we want to take you behind the scenes and give you uh, maybe a look into the game from a different angle. We're going to interview some people. We're also going to get down to the lower bowels of Scotiabank and try to film scrums as well. And we're going to take you around and take a look. So I also have today with me my co-worker Tyson who's going to be second camera and he's going to get some different angles uh, with his camera and he's going to tell you uh, what he's going to do. What's up guys? Uh, yeah, so today I'm looking just to get shots of Bedard and warm up. He's the man of the night. You know, hopefully it's an electric night. We need the building to be loud. Um, you know, it's going to be a fun game. What's your process on how you get ready for a tonight's game? Well, it, in some ways, even though it's Connor Bedard's debut and we're excited about that, it's it's uh, it's another day at the office, although it could be a very special night as well. But the process, uh, everything that's going to happen in the game is probably on that sheet that, uh, that uh, took up most of yesterday preparation, uh, reading back a few weeks about uh, the team coming in. And of course, we follow the Leafs on a day-to-day -day basis, but you try and uh, replicate that for whatever team is involved and even a little more work when it involves uh, uh, somebody like Connor Bedard. So watching the last couple of games that Bedard's played in and the Blackhawks have played in because there's a lot of new faces, not just Connor Bedard. And uh, and after that, it's, uh, it's another game, but you're always conscious that this is a spotlight game and, and it could be something special that you see tonight that uh, you haven't seen before. Is there a specific player that you remember with this much hype other than I guess Crosby yeah. in the most recent times where all eyes are on him basically? If you're Connor Bedard you kind of look at you know McDavid was that guy that really the whole league was waiting in anticipation to see what he'd do and I'm sure for Bedard to see what the growth has been for Connor and what he's been able to do is something to really emulate. I love the fact though that he talks about Austin Matthews and his shot and so Connor's looking at you know how can I incorporate things of the star players that I've watched when I was playing junior and translate that now but you know there's no question in the early returns he's got a calm about him he's got a great presence he's always got a smile on his face and uh, uh, it'll be really exciting to watch. So right now we're waiting for Sean to do his hit and then we're going to talk to him. We're right now on ice level. The game's about to start. It's probably really loud. I don't even know if you can hear me properly. We ask ourselves, what does Austin Matthews have in store for us tonight? All this talk about Austin Matthews and the hat tricks has taken away some of the shine of the arrival of Connor Bedard in Toronto. Yes, the Bedard Tour is here. The spotlight a little brighter tonight as the Bedard Barnstorming Tour comes to Toronto for a showdown between two of the NHL's most talked about players. It's Connor versus Austin. The Hawks and Leafs on Rogers Monday Night Hockey. All right, John, so your hit today, what yep. was it about? It was all about Austin Matthews, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing this quick chat here. So as we were asking Sean questions, they needed him to do something, so. But now we're good. I, I can pick it up. Okay. You don't get back-to-back hat-tricks open the season and not get right the opening hit. But right. that being said, Connor Bedard's in town. So for me, it's, you know, it's a Leafs broadcast. It is a national show, though, so you got to give the Leaf fans what they want. And that's Austin Matthews' back-to-back hat-tricks. But Bedard is such a special player. Like, you don't often get guys like that that come into the league and they say generational talent for a reason. So you got to give him his flowers. And I'm excited just to see these two. It's elite players. So once you finish your hit, 
Yep. What do you do next? I got set in my, my okay. beautiful corner office here. <laughs> I have a monitor here, I got the stats here. Yeah. And basically this is where I do in-game stories where he'll throw down to me out of break. I'll tell in-game stories about Matthews, about Bedard, stuff that at the morning skate I'll dig up or I'll find online. Okay. Basically just, I want to try to take the story a little deeper and just have fun and, and tell people maybe things they don't know. He's waiting to do a hit, so I don't want to disturb him too much, but he's been a real help. Getting that one away. Paul, and now it is Bedard over the line. Shot! A hot shot off the global wall. He let that fly with the release that everybody's talking about. Yeah, not afraid to shoot the puck either. And Wall makes a great save. How about the family? What a week it's been for Tom, Melanie, and Madison all watching their son and brother. And the clock will drain. The Blackhawks are two and two. A win in Connor Bedard's first appearance in Toronto. So after uh, what seemed like the longest 30 seconds of my life with two offside goals, uh, the Blackhawks win. Uh, Bedard is 1-0 against the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, in Toronto. And we are right now just waiting outside the away locker room. So we're going to get some scrums and the interviews of the Chicago players as they come out. Corey, this young group is four games into the season, a win over the Pittsburgh Penguins, a win over the Toronto Maple Leafs. Just when you join a team like this, like you mentioned, a young rebuilding team, a team with a guy like Connor Bedard, just what is your approach when it comes to leading by example and being a leader in that room? Just, I mean, you know, just coming to work every day. Um, you know, like, like I've said before, just a little sounding board for, for them to, you know, if off the ice, on the ice, whatever it may be, you know, help them work on their game. Um, you know, it's... This, this league's not uh, not not easy to step in at 18, 19, 20 years old. So, um, you know, there's going to be ups and downs, and you just got to coach them through that. So uh, back in the gondola, uh, end of the game, uh, we show you some scrums. Unfortunately, Connor Bedard was not available to the media, so we didn't get to see him uh, out there, but we got Coach Luke Richardson and some players, which was cool. Uh, just to see the whole setup of how scrums work in the locker room uh, was pretty cool. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, but I think we got a lot of insight here. We got Sean McKenzie, we got the play by play guys uh, giving their two cents, which is really cool. And we got the warm ups uh, for Bedard, which we think uh, just seeing him doing his thing, pretty cool, Tyson. Yeah. Um, but that's it. This was our third experience so far. We've done Carlos Alcaraz, we've done Shohei Otani, yes. and now we've done Connor Bedard. So hope you enjoyed. And until next time, let us know in the comments below also uh, who you want to see do i messed up there let us know who you this want is going to be a jump cut this is going to be a jump cut let us know in the comments below who would you like to see us do our next experience on uh we've we've been doing some pretty big names so far um but yeah let us know thanks and always i don't know how i'm ending this poopa chupa i'm not i'm not using that one deuces <laughs>